Welcome to another episode of Off the Plugin Chain. I'm your host, Dr. Tom. Today's video is going to be a piano roundup. The roundup is going to feature 12 different pianos. There's going to be seven Steinway Concert Grands with one Felt Concert Grand, one Baldwin Grand, one Bosendorfer Imperial Grand, one Malmzio Concert Grand, and two upright pianos with one being a Felt piano. They will all be playing the same cue called Black Moon from Ominous Pianos, Volume 2 by Freaky Loops. The first one is the Fluffy Audio Scoring Piano. This is based off of a Steinway B Concert Grand Piano. It's a very nice all-around piano, usable uh, in many different genres, easy to modify settings, and you can also tweak EQ and reverb settings. comes with three different mic settings as well. Next is the Galaxy Vintage D. This is based off a Steinway D. It's another nice all-around piano, but you are kind of limited in how deep you can go in modifying the settings uh, on this uh, first page primarily. Next is the Sonic Couture Hammersmith Pro. It's based off of a Steinway D. It's another nice all-around piano, usable in many different genres. It's got a really good selection of presets, and the tweakable settings are really incredible with this one. Next is the Fracture Sounds Midnight Grand. This is based off of a Sanway D. It's a felt grand piano, and you can really produce some unique and inspiring sounds. So this one is a, it's a really interesting piano. Uh, next is the Westwood Instruments Alt Piano. It's based off an old, an old upright piano. It has a pure tone, a felted tone, and the ability to mix the proportion of each. So you can really produce some expressive and interesting sounds with this one. Next is the Versillian Studios Broken Piano. It's based off of an old dilapidated Baldwin Grand Piano. You can really produce a lot of different mangled and distorted piano sounds with this one. And because of that, it's really more of a special effects instrument rather than an all-around piano instrument. Okay, next is the Sound Iron Old Busted Granny Piano, and this one's based off of an unspecified old upright piano. The kind of piano that you would find in your grandma's house. It's been there for years, it still works, but the action isn't so great anymore, and it hasn't been tuned in years. It's easy to modify the tuning and action of the piano so that you can really emulate that old upright sound. Next is the Cine Samples Piano in Blue, which is another Steinway D. This one is really well suited for lyrical works. Okay, next is the 8DIO 1969 Legacy Piano. This one is another Steinway D. You can create some interesting sounds with it, but I've just never really been able to do what I would, would like um, with this instrument uh, as a piano, and so I wouldn't consider it your go-to piano. The Sample Tech Blue Grand. This is based on a uh, 1910 Malmsio uh, Swedish Grand Piano, so not sure I pronounced that correctly, being Swedish. But uh, it's got a very nice expressive tone, and because of this, it's, it's a nice warm alternative to the uh, very um, predominant Steinway sound or more pervasive Steinway sound that, that you hear. Okay, next is another Galaxy piano. It's the Galaxy Vienna Grand. This one is based off of an 1848 Bosendorfer Imperial 290 Concert Grand piano. So an older piano, and being that it's a Bosendorfer, there, there's uh, keys that extend into the bass range beyond the normal range of an 88 key uh, piano, so that's one thing the Bosendorfer is known for. Because of that, you can get really deep and rich, complex tones. But uh, in with this uh, Galaxy uh, piano here, similar to the, uh, the Vintage D, you're kind of limited in how much uh, you can, or how deep you can go with tweaking settings, and it, there are no EQ settings. And then last is the Sound Iron Struck Grand. It's based on a 1926 Steinway L concert grand piano. It's a, a prepared grand piano, so different things have been put on the strings, uh, and it can be bowed or it can be struck, it can be plucked. So 
it, this is a prepared piano and because of that it's definitely a special effects instrument you wouldn't use this for any sort of emulation of an, an uh, all-around piano instrument now in reaper and i'm going to pop off of here and uh we'll get this playing back here in a in a sec So that was the Black Moon Q played by the 12 different pianos. So I hope that was interesting and possibly insightful. Next time I think what I want to do is I want to present the video that shows the, my settings for using Voice Meter Banana, OBS Studio, and the DAW that I'm using, whether it's Studio One or Reaper. So that's, uh, I think, what I'm going to be doing in the next video. All right, well, until next time. Be well, stay safe, and keep being creative.